we're just going to look at the limit as uh, n goes to infinity. of 7 plus 1 over n to the 1 over n. And we're just going to see if this approaches a finite value or if it goes to positive or negative infinity, in which case it'll diverge. Uh, first case, it would converge to that finite number. Now, this is kind of a difficult limit to evaluate just straight away, but uh, if we see that this is the same thing as looking at the limit as n goes to 0 of 7 plus n to the nth power. The reason is because as n goes to infinity, this is just going to 0. And this is also going to 0. So we can just let this whole term approach 0 instead of just letting the denominator approach infinity. So now this is a little bit easier to work with. Um, we're going to use the pinching theorem to kind of narrow in on it, but before we do that, let's kind of think about what we would expect this, um, expect this to converge to, if it, if it converges at all. So as n gets closer and closer to zero, and we can actually say closer and closer to zero from the right, because as n goes towards infinity, we're only taking positive values, so this term will always be positive. So the one over n term will be approaching zero, but it'll be approaching zero from the right since n is only positive. Um, the n in the first problem, see here I changed my variable that I'm taking the limit with respect to. So as n goes to zero from the right, um, this is just going to get closer and closer to zero. So this inside is just going to get really close to seven. It's not really going to do a lot, it's just going to get, you know, seven. 0.1, and it's, it's about all it's going to do. The n in the exponent, on the other hand, it is going to get closer to closer to zero, but if we can kind of intuitively think of this as just being seven, which is not really precise, but we can think, okay, if this is just gets really, really close to seven and doesn't do much else, this gets really, really close to zero, well, what's 7 to the 0 power? Well, anything to the 0 power is 1. So we could kind of take a guess, question marks here, that this is equal to 1. Which means that we'd like to find um, a function or you know, a sequence, not a function, that, such that a to the n is always less than 7 plus n quantity raised to the nth power less than another sequence, less than or equal to another sequence, b to the n, and also such that the limit as n goes uh, to 0 of uh, a to the n equals the limit as n goes to 0 of b to the n equals 1. So that way we're kind of trapping the extremely large terms, or actually in this case extremely small terms of, um, of this limit uh, between 1 and 1, which means that it's only choices just to be equal to 1. Uh, so let's try, uh, let's use the fact that n is always greater than uh, 0. So. so keeping that in mind, let's look at, um, I don't know, say 6 to the n. Uh, so let's let a n, yeah, let's let a n equal 6 to the n and b n equal 8 to the n. So now since n is always positive, this means that 6 to the n is always less than or equal to uh, 7 uh, plus n to the n. This is always equal or less than or equal to 8. Um, the n because well we're looking at n values of n really close to zero so let's just take it within one of zero so that means that this is this part here is always greater than uh, six less than eight and so we know that we also know that you know six to the n is um, going to be less than you know any number greater than six raised to the nth power. And this satisfies our criterion because if n goes to 0, well, any constant raised to the 0 power is just equal to 1. So we can say after we apply the limit, 
So rather than writing the limit in each term, I'll just write limit as n goes to zero, meaning that we apply it to each, um, each side of the inequalities. And this gives us that one is less than or equal to the limit that we're interested in. Uh, limit as n goes to zero of seven plus n raised to the nth power, less than or equal to one. So that means the only option is limit as n goes to zero uh, from the right, um, seven plus n to the nth power, which remember is equal to uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of seven plus one over n to the one over n power is equal to one. 